My name is Lars Arne Nielsen. I'm a professor at Aalborg University here in Denmark. I'm heading a basic research center with a focus of sensory motor interaction. And one of the major research area is pain research. We have over the last 25 years been involved in doing many experiments in the area of pain. We can evaluate pain, we can assess pain, and we can actually profile new compounds which are being developed for the purpose of treating pain. At Center for Sensory Motor Interaction at Aalborg University, we do different things within the area of biomedical engineering and neuroscience. One area we are particularly focusing on is pain research. And pain research is research where we try to find ways of measuring pain in humans. And if we can measure pain in humans, we can also evaluate the effect of a given treatment. For example, a new drug, a new compound. The uh, Center for Sensory Motor Interaction at Auburn University has developed from a very few people up to close to 100 researchers today. We are, we are an international research center with people coming from all over the world, and we do have collaborations with, all over, with, with researchers all over the world. Center for Sensory Motor Interaction was actually initiated uh, 25 years ago. It was started as a small research group, and then we have developed into a large most likely the largest research group within that area in the world. Uh, and we have today close to 80 uh, researchers working for us. Uh, we have close to 65 uh, PhD students from all over the world. What we can do is actually we can evaluate, we can measure pain, which is very unique because pain is a very multidimensional uh, perception. So putting numbers on pain is very important. First of all, it's very important because you want to diagnose patients with pain problems, and secondly, we want to evaluate the efficacy of a given treatment. And all those different research projects together, they will provide us with a much more fundamental understanding uh, of the pain system and how pain is actually being processed and perceived. So the aim of what we do is actually to treat pain better and to know more about pain so we can develop also better drugs and better treatments. So if you want to measure pain, you have to try to put numbers on how much pain do you actually feel. And we can do that using lots of different high technology uh, methods. So we have the competences of developing high technology in combination with the knowledge concerning the fundamental aspects of the pain system. So we actually try to put numbers on the pain experience and we use that to evaluate pain in patients, and we use that to evaluate the effect of a given uh, drug or compound. The way we can do it is that we can measure, for example, electrophysiological responses, small electrical signals from the brain. We can measure small electrical signals from how the muscles try to withdraw from a painful event. We can measure different thresholds. We can actually ask the patient or the volunteer how much pressure can you accept before it's evoking pain. So we can do a lot of these quantitative sensory testings. So we can put numbers on how much pain do you actually experience. I think one of the major competences at Center for Sensory Motor Interaction is that we have an interdisciplinary group of researchers. We have biomedical engineers, we have physicians, we have people in basic science. And since we can combine all those different knowledges, all those different expertises, we have a very unique interdisciplinary setup. So having this interdisciplinary approach, we can actually address the issue from different angles. We can develop the technology, we can understand the underlying physiolo physiology, and we can actually develop techniques to evaluate pain clinically, or we can develop techniques to evaluate the effect of a given uh, drug. How efficient is a given drug on the pain system? We have had very good opportunities here in this part of Denmark because we have a very innovative university. A university which is supporting 
interdisciplinarity with supporting collaboration and particular internationalization. So what we are currently benefiting from is this internationalization. So we collaborate with a lot of partners uh, in many, many different countries. We have over the last 25 years developed into the world's most advanced center in the area of pain assessment. This is of course very important for patients because we can help diagnosing pain patients better, but we can also help the pharmaceutical industry to target their development of new compounds for treating pain much better. We have a unique knowledge which can profile new compounds, which can help the pharmaceutical industry to reach the market faster. That will save money and that will make the development programs much more efficient. Today we actually having technology which is unique, which can help the pharmaceutical industry to profile the new compounds. We can help them facilitating and promoting the new compounds so that the development program is much more efficient. There are no other research center in the world who can provide those kind of services. And that's why we try the best we can to promote our research also internationally to the pharmaceutical industry. And today we are collaborating with more than 15 international pharmaceutical industries. We're helping them formulating their development programs and we're helping them screening new compounds and new pain killers, which will potentially be a new drug uh, in the future. The combination of education, access to advanced labor, the education of researchers, access to qualified researchers, and then very advanced laboratories providing the state of the art within the field of pain. Those aspects together is very attractive for our collaborators.